Oh. Wait, wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. He stuck it in. Wait a minute. I mean, this is still, he has a lot of life to go. He lands the meaty. The shimmy. He didn't, he didn't believe. Wow. Oh, he didn't believe again. Paladin won that round. He's up a game and around on punk. What's up, everybody? It is time for the big finale to the biggest tournament in the CPT season. We're talking about CPT US East Top 8. I will go into spoilers right now to give a recap of the pools in the Top 16 before getting on into the action. So do yourself a favor and either watch the Top 16 on my channel or the official Capcom Fighters to get that context. But let's get into it. So coming into this region, why is it so stacked? We have Mena RD, the 2017-2022 Capcom Cup Champion. Knuckle Dew, the 2016 Capcom Cup Champion. Idom, the 2019 Capcom Cup Champion. Uh, Banana Can, one of the top players from Blast Bloom Persona 4 Arena, taking the sounds of Street Fighter 6 and doing extremely well. And then Punk, the most winningest Street Fighter 5 player of all time, and uh, Dominant Force of Street Fighter 6, all within one region. And each region only gets two spots to qualify. Mena already, already qualified to the World Warrior Regional East, so he's sitting this one out, which leaves the other four players to obviously make top 16 winners side free, right? Wrong! So Knuckle Dew barely sneaks into top 16 after a close call with a reverse for player in pools. Uh, Banana Can gets into top 16 winners after a close call with some Asian pulls as well. Idom and Pong come into top 16 on loser's side already. Psycho from Florida, fellow Floridian uh, competitor and former roommate of Punk actually puts him into a loser's bracket with his Kimberly, taking it 2-1 in pulls before the top 16. And then Idom drops to losers, losing to Paladin, a 16-year-old Ryu player. So we have another Ryu in uh, winner's side of a CPT bracket right after Ending Walker actually qualified with his Ryu at age of 17. So young Ryu players are rising up here, which brings us then to the actual top 16 where Dew qualifies for top eight winners, taking a very close set over Ramos, a surprise player coming out of nowhere. Ramos has been competing for a long time, but has been a low-key player playing modern Chun Li. Super close set. Uh, Dew was on the, the precipice of being eliminated or put into losers 2-0. He has to clutch it up and bring the set back to take the uh, the qualification spot on the winner's side. And then Banana Can qualifies and winners over Space Boy in the most uh, JP fashion possible. No Drive Rush bait with the Amnesia on the level three converts and ends up taking out Space Boy there, putting him into losers. And Banana Ken goes on to top eight winners side. Uh, on the loser side though, uh, or sorry, continuing on on the winner side, we also have Najee. Najee takes it over Psycho. Psycho caused the upset over Punk. Look at this air-to-air -air conversion Najee has. So Najee's been grinding for quite a long time on the uh, the U.S. East Coast and, and a lot of the online weeklies, and he's proven himself to be more and more consistent and takes the top eight winner side qualification spot there from Psycho. And then Paladin, remember him? The Ryu we mentioned earlier has a dominant showing over Alex Smith's jury on the winner's side. Uh, ends up converting here into the final level three finish to qualify in winners with Ryu. So we do have another Ryu here in top eight winners side. But moving into the losers bracket, Flux Waves ends up taking his set over Alex Smith to qualify with his solid JP play. Uh, Kami, he has this impressive sequence over over Samij here. He ends up blocking it out, coast to coast blocking, defensive decision making on point. Shows that blocking is still a powerful tool in Street Fighter VI. It's an awesome highlight. He takes his set over Samij, then ends up eliminating Psycho to get into the top eight on the loser side. Um, so good showing to Kami for taking that set there. And then we have the final qualification. Um, oh, sorry. And then we have Punk versus Space Boy. This was the grand finals of CPT 2022. This was one of the most hype sets of the tournament. If you haven't seen the set, please, if you have to watch anything from the top 16, watch this set. It was such a nail biter. Punk clenches it out, ends up qualifying in the top eight on the loser side over Space Boy. And then the final qualifier is not Idom. This was the most heartbreaking moment of the entire tournament. I could not believe how close this set was. Idom ends up bait baiting the reversal, but he ends up dropping the final combo. That wasn't even a punish on the throw. Wake up from Ramos. He just throws Idom there and ends up being eliminated from the tournament before top eight. Ramos with modern Chun-Li gets into the top eight on loser's side. And that sets up the final top eight bracket. Knuckle Doom versus Bananica, Najee versus Paladin, Ramos versus Punk, and Kami versus Flux Waves. And it's going to be a lot of amazing action. Let's get into it. Bananican versus Dew. Dew is the best guy on the planet, I would have to argue, at the JP matchup. 
Um, he, you know, he definitely is uh, one who complained about the JP matchup, but that had fueled his his investigation and his theory crafting in it because he is so proficient at this matchup. Uh, but Banana Can, he's the JP. He's the best JP on the Western Hemisphere. Um, you know, you could argue he's up there with the likes of like a Kakadu and Nemo. He's super strong, and they have traded sets. I think Do might have a slight favor, or I'm not sure the exact record between them, but they both have traded sets before in tournaments in the past. So we'll see how it goes. Do knows how to keep this positioning where he can throw boom. Yeah, exactly. That's the spot. So Guile can't really throw booms from full screen because then that's a free spike for JP. If he does it up close where he can threaten jump over uh, a JP spike, he can get a bit more aggressive with the, with the boom timings. OD Amnesia trying to slow dude down. Puts himself in burnout? Is he just going to get drive reversaled? Oh, interesting sequence. I'm not sure why dude got hit there. Oh, he bounced the wrong way. He was on the other side. Oh, nice DI. Immediate level three. This is a bad spot for Banana Ken. It's going to be hard for him to even survive the burnout. Nice tack. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, immediate empty jump, low overhead target combo. Oh, okay, finds a spot. Was that an execution error? I don't, I can't imagine he meant to do point blank spike. Gets thrown for his troubles. Cross up conversion for Banana Ken. Perfect parry. Using the projectile feints from JP to try to clear the boom out and uh, not allow Kyle to proceed. Level two? Oh, he didn't use level two. Okay, he's using it now. I don't know about this. Yes, nice bait. He could have comboed into that level two from the original combo, so that was a little scary that he let do live, then did level two for a mix up. Nice conversion. Okay, that got a little funky with the the portal on top of it. Oh, you're d oh, no, Stan Fierce. He could have died. What a level three. Oh no, burnout incoming. This is actually bad. Bananakin does have one level, a one bar super to uh, potentially counter a DI if it comes down to it. But wait, okay, he's playing the zoning game. Nice air to air, one to one. Takes the trade, uses the, the EX projectile to allow him to set up the portal. Forces the drive reversal out of do. This is a huge opportunity for Bananakin. He's probably gonna look for a level two activation. Yes, sir. Gonna check the jump away. Oh, funky situation. I'm not sure if that was quite an unblockable, but it was a hard to blockable for sure. Chip sequence. Yes, sir. One round up here is Banana Can. This is crucial. 2-1 is a, a lifetime away from 1-2. Like, you you absolutely want to have the 2-1 advantage in the first of three. It just feels so different. Perfect parry the boom into a perfectly timed jump in. That was clutch. What's Dude gonna do here? Walk, oh, look at the confidence to walk while the portal's behind him. But, but Anakin has a little lower in drive meter. Yeah, so, oh, he wasn't buffering Amnesia. Always be buffering Amnesia. I was gonna say, Dude had the life deficit, but he had the drive meter advantage this whole time, and now it's coming to a head here. Level two? Avoids it, jump back, yes, you can just kind of juke it, but this it at least stalls the clock for Banana Ken, um, which is crucial at this moment. He's gonna avoid the, he's, oh, what a teleport to avoid the DI <laughs> stud. He stays alive, he avoids it, that's plus. Wow, he challenged? That's plus three. I don't know what happened. Every time Dew is forced to block the spike, Banana Ken gets in, whoa, he makes it whiff. Oh, that is huge for Banana Can. Detrimental for Dew. Almost a pickup. Okay, choose to go into burnout on his own terms. Dew parries it out to get the... He dropped the, he dropped the flash kick. That would have picked up. Banana Can has level two. He might just... Oh my god, it still clipped him? That was very strange. Match point for Banana Can. Wow, this is a huge mo... Wait, level... Oh, forces a drive reversal. He might have popped level two there on block and forced an unblockable. Goes into burnout, but does it with the level two. This is a block string situation, yeah. So either either he goes into burnout or he goes into burnout based on what Banana King does there. 
Okay, taking the plus frames. Overhead, that's going to be actually zero on block when in burnout. Pick up. This is a bad spot for Dew. Dew's fighting for his tournament life. Portal's still above him. He has to take that. Bananakin recovers from burnout first. Plus frames on that. Doesn't overextend. Do oh, EX projectile nullifies it. This is such a bad spot. Yeah, that was done for. He had to guess if he's going to throw him during one of those gaps in the string or or not. And Do takes the throw. Wow, Bananakin 3-1 over Do. Winner's finals, Bananakin. Honestly, I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised it wasn't closer. Naji versus Paladin. So this is the side of the bracket that was blown wide open by the early upsets. Both Punk and Idom went to losers early. naji has been rocking jury. He's been on the grind for, oh, for all of Street Fighter 6. Then Paladin. Paladin, 16 years old, with Ryu is the man who put Idom into losers in pools. Oh, walked out of the throw attempt. Paladin is definitely aware of the drive meter situation. I think that's one of his strengths in this game. He likes to do combos into DI when your drive meter is getting low to force burnout situations. Oh, fireball the DP. Classic. Gets the conversion. Throw. Denied the throw loop. Paladin responds. Oh, oh, that combos? He doesn't go to the level three. He doesn't go to the level three there either. It's I guess it, it wouldn't have burned him out. He wasn't in CA. But next, wow, wow, wow. He's gonna build level one. Does he even need it? Wow. Paladin's still sitting that level three. If he gets a juicy jump in or something, he can cash out and maybe kill. So a dangerous position for for Naji to be in. Only level one on Najee's side. Oh, he was holding the parry too long. That's why he got punished cutter on that low, but Najee doesn't quite capitalize on it, but has the corner positioning. Light pressure, blocks it out, does Paladin in the corner. That Hashigeki, man, he's gonna confirm that to level three. If you if you whiff a button into his range, overhead! Overhead! With the CA, you're dead. Wow, that sneaky dry rush Ryu overhead. That's what he used to close out against Idom. I don't know about that, Najee. I don't know about that one. But the dive he does land. Wait, Meaty? Oh, he didn't. He dropped it. I think he meant to link level one there. Oh! I, I don't exactly know what happened there either. Big jump in. Najee has a corner. Oh, crouching medium, pre preemptive buffering intercepts. The overhead lands, Najee sand blocking, or sand not blocking. Nice DP. Najee still staying strong. Oh, block string pressure to force the burnout. Let's get a, get a little loosey goosey. Jump medium, air to air, that low? Oh, level two conversion. I think he can kill here. Keep it simple. One, one. I have zero drop frames. Yeah, I'm gonna have to carry on with the match, guys. I'm sorry. So Paladin with no stores is kind of holding his ground here, which gives uh, Paladin a bit more room to play with. Nice D counter DI. Puts himself in burnout though. Is this is this part of the tech from uh, from Paladin here? He could he could survive any punish combo. He could have survived any punish combo. Oh, he tested him. I was wondering if he's going to go for it. Najee was ready. 80 seconds and they're both like in, at 60% health. That was kind of nuts. Not in time. Paladin counter DI. Uses the one bar EX to push to the corner. Uh, perfect parry, but doesn't quite counter in time. Stand light kick with punish into the level one conversion. Clean for Paladin. Oh, same idea, same idea. That's because Naji, look at Naji's drive meter. And even there, even there doing the Hashogeki, making Naji think it was a fireball, but he finds a perfect parry. Oh, that was huge. It's exactly what Naji needed, the perfect parry to turn the tides. Jump heavy punch. Oh, he missed it again. What is he trying to do? Was that a dive kick to fly out of the corner? No super meter on, on Najee's part. Paladin had a full CA. He dropped! Najee's been in this situation before. I've seen TNS tournaments where he should have won and he's dropped in this fashion. 
You should have won that round, Naji. You were playing so well until that moment. Paladin capitalizes 2 2, slowly pushing Naji to the left half of the screen here. Good cross cut, so aware. Meaty dry brush medium. Back into the corner you go. Meaty dry brush medium. Dry brush extension. Safe jump, meaty safe jump. Paladin just finding the opening. Is that gonna connect? What a time to level one. That's a that's a constant pressure that Paladin exerts upon you. And that's why his fireball game is actually effective. Intercepts! Wake up crotch MP. Puts himself near burnout. Oh, he had the perfect parry, but he didn't interrupt. But you overextended in burnout. Paladin just calls it out the DI. You have you have level three. You have level three! Oh my god. You're dead. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Nachi just banked it on that buffer. Final round between these two players. Who's going to the winner's finals? No one would have called Nachi or Paladin to be in this posi position. Now, both of them are on the precipice of going to winner's finals of one of the most stacked CPT events of the entire Capcom Pro Tour season. Who's it gonna be? Corner control for Nachi. Paladin using that donkey kick to build some space. Gets clipped. Early momentum for Nachi. Take throw. Throw loop situation, meaty jab. Uh, Paladin was holding up to get out, but he manages to, to get the EX Fireball to build some space. Low four doesn't believe in it. It connected though. The tension is high. Dry rush donkey kick to stop the momentum. They're pulling out the tricks. Dry rush overhead, one of Paladin's own tricks. If Naji doesn't drop, it's over. He does it. Naji takes it over Paladin. Three to two in the final game. Naji in winner's finals of CPT US East. Good stuff to Paladin. That was a great set. I think he'll be a threat in losers for sure. Ramos versus Punk. So if you guys did not see Ramos play in the top 16, you definitely missed out. He nearly put Knuckle Dew in losers, I believe 2-0 before Knuckle Dew had to tighten up. And he is the person who eliminated IDOM in the end when IDOM had the crucial set winning combo drop. And then Punk, his his sets were ridiculous, of course. His set against Space Boy is probably the best one of the tournament so far. I'm going to drive impact you when you have super and laugh, Mr. Modern. Oh my gosh. Punk does have a little bit of a, a thing for modern users. <laughs> Take throw. Representing the reversal already. Uh, dive kick right over the fireball. Big shimmy. Oh, Punk is, he's already dancing on him. Oh, meaty DI. Punk is showing it already. Whiffed and punished. What? What was the DI for? Did you expect a spin knuckle? Even if he did spin knuckle though, Punk would have just canceled into level three on reaction, I believe. So that DI seemed a little... Whiffed. The parry, OD Tenchu. Oh, good interrupt. Okay, signs of life from Ramos. Punk is definitely living up to his... Is he gonna do DI again? <laughs> Why try to troll Punk? It might cost you this round. Let's see. Uh, survives the burnout situation. I was concerned about the spin knuckle. I was concerned about it. Oh, Punk is all over him right now. Oh, the instant air legs attempts just whiffs underneath. This won't kill, right? Oh, I am wrong. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, you try to play footsies with the dive kicks? Just instantly in the corner again. He's just gonna stand fierce away his drive meter. Oh my god. Whiff punished again. Punk is, he's in form right now. He was playing so good in the top 16, but it feels like Punk is just the counter to his style entirely. Ramos has gotten zero started. This is the first time we've seen the right half of the screen be approached at all this entire set. Confirm into the corner, Ramos. Oh, you missed the meaty and Punk woke up stand MK with the, uh, uh, what? What? Nice block on that, challenges after. Oh, did not quite build the level three. Oh, Punk's gonna go for the DI. Oh, big whip one. This is, this is a round. 
Oh, he has to burn all level three? Around for Ramos. Signs of life. Low forward connects. But his driving under situation makes me a little nervous for exactly this reason. Oh, are you dead? This, this might be it. Yeah. And Burnout, though, is Punk. Can you force the, the advantage? Not like that! What did you do? Oh, Ramos, it wasn't your top eight. Unfortunate way to go out. Listen, we've all been there. Anyone who's been competing in these regions, they know what it's like to get bodied by Punk. I've been there. It doesn't invalidate the fact that your top 16 run was phenomenal. You you kicked ass in top 16, but, you know, sometimes we meet our match, and sometimes that match, is, that match is Punk. It just, it happens to the best of us. So, good run up to this point. Wasn't ready for Punk's and is a uh, oppressive smothering neutral. Kami versus Flux Waves. Kami's been kind of a, a staple in these top eights for the CPT East for a long time. He's had some big wins in these stages, um, and he's frequently in the top eight position. Uh, Flux Waves, on the other hand, has been also a pretty consistent competitor in the Street Fighter V scene for a while out of Canada, Montreal, I believe. Playing JP right now in Street Fighter VI. Kami, I, I don't know if he's ready for the matchup. I don't know. He definitely hates JP. We'll see if that hate either fueled him or if it frustrates him to fall apart. I'm not sure. Now, Kami does like to reset the neutral a lot. Ooh, if that was a regular fireball from JP, Kami would have drive rushed through it, but Flux Wave chose a spike instead, understanding the threat of the drive rush. Ah, uh, you try to contest the stand fierce. Spike, controlling the nooch. If Flux Waves puts him into a block string, he can pop level two. Oh, oh, he didn't believe in the hit? Flux Waves didn't recognize that it hit. He could have Drive Rush confirmed. Okay, what's what's the mix here? Wow, what a time to DP. Goes for the one button sway with the suppressor. Flux Waves goes to the parry though, so he has a bite. What do you have? Nice jump, empty jump at that time. Recognize the situation. Kami is playing around the projectile game really well, but he still ends up putting himself in burnout. He puts himself in burnout. Oh, what a navigation. Into the corner, threatening. Empty jump. Flux waves wasn't ready to crouch for his anti-air. Wow, I think Flux waves is looking to potentially check uh, an approach. Kami parrying the projectile. Good approach from Flux Waves. Stand Fierce to Heavy Slash is plus. It's diable. Di nice save. Towards Heavy Kick to EX Projectile. Towards Heavy Kick is very punishable on block. EX Projectile, of course, will interrupt a punish attempt. Okay, how is he going to take advantage of this burnout? So, from full screen here, you can get decent shit, but it won't kill. So, yeah, I think Kami just waiting it out makes the most sense. Nice DI. That heavy knuckle uh, was, I don't think it was the play. Didn't have level three in order to cancel and interrupt the DI. Wow. Wow, level three? Is he gonna burn it? Yes, sir. Off. So close to burnout. Stagger jab pressure. Keeps it light. He knew the parry was gonna come, anticipating a cancel to fireball to recover the drive meter, and that's what the command grab there is for. If you try to auto autopilot parry when you see JP cancel from Stan Fierce, that's what the command grab is for. Nice drive rush in. Kami's definitely finding his spots to drive rush through the minefield. Amnesia bait! But Flux is gonna do it again? No, okay. You can't amnesia the safe jumps, but it doesn't give plus frames. Wow, baited again. Kami measured pressure to bait the wake ups. Flux Waves has not landed a single amnesia yet. I think those were the first two. He knows how to navigate. Throw this time. Flux was representing parry a lot in those situations. So now that's why uh, Kami adapted by going for drive rush into throw. Simple conversion on the on the drive rush counter hit. 2-1 to Kami. He's playing it good. Finds the time to drive rush back in. Mid screen where he can threaten. Nice interrupt. So yeah. Flux Waves is now slowing down his projectile game when Kami is in range to look for the dry rush interrupts. Snipes the dash into the corner. Kami's harassing crosscut. He's aware. Dry rush overhead denied by the amnesia. He's not afraid. Forces the throw. You have to tech that. You get one more guess after blocking the amnesia, especially mid screen. And Kami wasn't afraid. Oh wait a minute though. He gets clipped. 
Wait a minute. He was in a great position, but now Flux waves. Kami has super to, to react to a drive impact. Is he gonna, what's he going to do here? So he's in the corner. What's he going to do? Oh, drive impact right after. Sweep? Frame kill? Oh, it messed up. I understand that drop. That drop is... Sometimes the frames don't work out and you're that extra snap He was trying to set up a second ex portal, but when the first one is still on screen It gives you the snap. So it was just like a frame off that drop is very inconsistent So he was going for a super optimal double ex portal combo and it gets denied wake up jab tick throw to ex command grab Kami is thirsty to get in because uh, flux waves drive meter is low, but you can't get too thirsty against JP he gets the punish. That is only negative six on block, but Luke has, of course, crouching medium punch, which is six frames, one of the best mediums in the game. Luke will reach with the crouching and medium punch on the negative six sweep in the corner, but he's in burnout. He's going to force level two. You are... You, how, you blocked it? Oh, you... Oh, until the very last hit, you blocked it, but you're alive. You're alive. You're out of burnout. You're out of burnout. That was great defense. Potential final interaction. No, the manual pop of the portal. He caught him trying to walk forward last second. That was so close. Okay, finds a way in. Oh, towards heavy punch connected. Doesn't that combo normally? But the driving your situation is looking a little good for Kami. Oh, uh, but Flux Flaves tapping away at the buttons. Nice, perfect parry. Stand fierce denies it. You're dead. Oh, you're alive. He dropped. Overhead whiff. GP. Oh, the suppressor. Flux Flaves is on match point after facing elimination from Kami. Forcing it. What are you going to do? Oh, he, he was too far away to get the string. Okay, he goes for the punish counter throw. You can take that. Nice jump away from the meaty command grab. Flux Flaves is trying to get cheeky with it. Wow, because if Kami had tapped parry or something, that would have been a grip of damage from the, the EX command grab. Level 3, equalizing it. Nice jump back jab. But Kami's near burnout. He's not parrying these projectiles. There you go, perfect parry. Perfect parry! There you go, parrying the spikes. Survives, checks the dry rush. We have a final game, final round once again. JP has level two. You're in burnout and near the corner. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, he goes for the greedy reset. Level one mash. Oh, he went. He's going to punish. Big jumping. He's going to get back to the drive meter. DP! Final interaction! He does wake up, chapter to EX command grab, and it kills! Oh my god, I cannot believe Flux Waves did that again. He represented the wake up jab to command grab earlier. Oh my god. So he, he read Kami respecting the amnesia on the final interaction, which allows you to sneak in your wake up buttons. And then after a wake up button, are you going to be ready for OD command grab to come out of nowhere? Oh, that was a close ass match. Good run from Kami. That was that was a really good set. Paladin, Ryu, Punk, Kami. Here we go. Paladin picking his spots. Space Donkey Kick again. Yeah, it's such a good tool to chip at your drive meter and potentially juke around buttons and punish them. Dive kick over the fireball. To the corner we go. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna respond? Meaty jab, check, stand fierce, punish counter. Are you dead? You are dead. Gets the bar dry meter damage. Oh, just barely protects his toes there. And burnout. Early burnout for Punk. How's Paladin going to take advantage of this? Take throw. Is he going to throw loop? Oh, the angle wasn't just right, but Punk doesn't get the punish. Can he chip? Oh, I, I don't, this is scary, this is scary, this is scary, this is scary. Okay, double dash, no fear, perfect. Second round, perfect Paladin over Punk. Punk's below three bars of dry meter, so he's gonna be scared to use any kind of a dry brush cancel. Oi! That was a big whiff though, he would've probably spent it on the whiff. 
He knew the angle was going to be tough to DP, so he tried to do the late perfect parry, which is why uh, Punk was smart to go for the empty jump throw. They both recognize the situation. He misses the anti-air! You're dead! Paladin picked a, definitely picked the right spot where Punk was just a little bit off, not quite ready for, for anti-airing right there. Not quite sure what he went for. Wow. You rarely see that move from Cammy. <laughs> Confirmed in the punish counter. Oh, drive rush starter. I like that. Optimizing on the damage. Look at the optimization. No, okay, well. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He stuck it in. Wait a minute. I mean, this is still, he has a lot of life to go. He lands the meaty. The shimmy! He didn't, he didn't believe. Wow. Whoa, he didn't believe again. Paladin won that round? He's up a game and a round on Punk? I'm in disbelief of how that round just went. Oh my God, he's gonna be close to one hit and he's dead. Meaty stand fierce. One hit and he's dead. It's 2-0 to Paladin over Punk. What a cross cut level three. Paladin's playing like he's, is this freaking John Choi on the screen? Is this Alex Vai? Is this Daigo reincarnated? Paladin's his neutral game is giving Punk a lot to think about. That is the bait. He did it again. He did that previously and he said it gets Najee. He whiffs the Hasho Geki, so people go for the perfect parry dry rush punish and then he interrupts them. That is the bait. He's, he's represented that several times. The visual cue is throwing people off. It connects. He's on match point. Punk did spin knuckle and wake up thinking a fireball was coming. Punk is mounting his offense. He's not looking phased in this round. Big whiff. What a back dash on wake up. Side swap. Okay, he tries to sneak in the den. He does sneak in the dungeon char charge. Kind of sneaky, but Punk finding the hits to connect. What a DP. P Punk is scared of that level three. One conversion to level three and it's over. Oh my god, what a shimmy attempt right there. Punk knew he couldn't respond. Level three? Okay, okay. Wow, Punk had to tighten up right there. But that's that's a costly, you know, he had to, he had to cash out entirely. Paladin still has full super meter, Punk now has none. Punk is a little more apprehensive with his buttons to check Paladin's walking movement. <sighs> he doesn't have a punish for like the donkey kick. Dude, Paladin's getting away with kind of using that donkey kick mid screen and Punk is not punishing it. Look at the drive meter situation, perfect parry. Look at Punk's drive meter. Oh, he needed that whip punish. He needed that to turn the tides, absolutely. Nice jab to correct the air-to-air -air situation. That was so high level. He's dead. Is this it? Is this actually gonna be enough damage? Is this gonna kill? No, it's not. Punk only has one bar meter. Paladin and burnout. One touch away. The overhead. Paladin. Three zero over Punk with Ryu. Sixteen years old. Wow. I am in disbelief. Do with the Kami. I was wondering if he was going to go this route. So Do was sent to losers by Bananakin 3-1 in the Guile matchup. But it's strange. Like, Kami is definitely on paper a better matchup against JP. Uh, but, like I said, inside lore, uh, Do put, put some awesome sets against him him versus Kakadu on his YouTube. He beat Kakadu 5-3 with Guile and lost to Kakadu 4-5 with, with Kami. So it seemed like Do just knew the, the Guile matchup versus JP inside and out, but he's going with the Cami and mauling Flux Waves for, the, for this first round. He wants to avoid getting double JP'd. Yeah, Flux Waves is swinging on that Fierce Punch to <laughs> build some space. The, look, stand Fierce! <laughs> How many times did you press Stand Fierce in the past five seconds? Oh, uh, tried to interrupt the Spin Knuckle. Dew was there first. He has level three. One more interaction will seal it for Dew. But Amnesia's there. He has the tech? Yes, sir. Oh, but one more amnesia. Fluxway is going into burnout on his own terms. Builds the screen space. Do walks the portal off the screen. EX dive kick. Interrupt on the heavy spin knuckle. Good awareness there from Flux Waves. Level two extension. He should be dead if this all picks up correctly. Oh, I take it back. Oh, he burns the EX on that? Wait a minute. Oh, he thought he was going to try to go for a tick throw. Wait a minute. Flux Waves has no super meter. That's plus. Wait a minute. Still no super meter for Flux Waves. That EX portal was a mistake. He should not have put himself in burnout. 
Dive kick whiff makes. Oh, he's moving on him. Swanging on that fierce again, flux waves using that to build space in the corner. Conversion level three. Uh, he's doing using the sand heavy kick to try to chip away at the dry meter, but it matters not. He finds a stray hit. Quick 2-0 for do. He's salty about losing to Banana Ken right now. He's like, this damn character. You gotta be really on point. <laughs> okay, he didn't believe. He's been play playing a ton of Aki. I'm a little surprised. Sticking with JP is Fluxway, so. Low forward confirm. You're dead. Do is speed running right now, man. Uh, I, I've been on the receiving end of this kind of a beatdown from Dew uh, many a times in my years. You gotta imagine Dew is feeling fired up right now. I think Dew is probably feeling super confident against everyone left in the bracket because Punk was eliminated. And basically, I think he's he's really, you know, uh, foaming at the mouth to get his run back versus Bananakin here. He didn't build the level three, so I think he was looking to build the level three on that swipe. He was a pixel away from building the super meter, but Punk find, or Dew finds the next interaction, closes it out. Wow, yeah, he was literally like a pixel away from building level three, which would have taken the round. I'm sure that's what Fluxways was looking for. Quick 3-0, that was a speed run. Listen, uh, but I've, I've lost faster in 3-0s to do in my life. Big big ups to Fluxwaves, he had a really good run. His set against uh, Kami was super sick. Winners finals of US CPT East, Banana Ken versus Najee. If you call this, you're a liar. First jump in for Najee. Uh, jury, you know, Najee likes to represent the dive kick as well, uh, like particularly in, in his own um, uh, habits, but Jury's dive kick does help in the matchup as well. She can use that as another way to sneak in an approach over JP's uh, projectile game and anti-air attempts. Wow, late shimmy. Bananakin text reflexively. Perfect parry. Back throw. Okay, you're back in the game, Bananakin. What do you got? OD portal. It's time to play. Yep, air to air pickup. He is prepared. He knows his conversions. Oh, he baits it out. Oh, we drive rush. Bananakin was going to go maybe dash and throw there. Najee was holding the the the, the parry and just dry brushes in, burns himself out. Nice, perfect parry. This is ambitious. This is ambitious, but it might just work. He shimmied him last second. Medium portal to control space. Bananakins is trying to survive the burnout now. Yep, he's just trying to back up survive. He dry rushes in behind the projectile. Yeah, that level two was super ambitious from Bananakin. He was banking on making some kind of a comeback. Oh, burning the level two. Look at the look at the lock pressure here with the drive meter. He's gonna try to force Banana Ken to take action to, to avoid burnout. Intercepted. Banana Ken burns it to go into burnout on his own terms. Portal setup. Zoning time. So Banana Ken's just gonna try to avoid yeah any shenanigans with burnout. There you go. Navigates it appropriately. He keeps trying to interrupt drive rush medium. That is very difficult to interrupt from a distance. Very difficult. Oh, he stopped parrying. Oh, he was holding parry until the last second. Goes for the reset, gets blocked. Oh, he could have killed. Oh, he goes for the reset. Bananakin loves that. Oh, uses the portal to get the side swap. He covered the jump away with the jump medium kick preemptive and also got the side swap. Bananakin in control. Oh, he'll take that. He'll take that trade. Naji and throw range out. It just nullifies a projectile with the X projectile of his own. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's not in burnout yet, but Bananakin does have one bar super. So if he gets put into burnout, he can avoid it. Oh, just the stagger jump forward. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Naji's fighting back here. Nice timing the jump out. He could have. Whoa. Wait a minute. This is getting, getting a little gnarly. Level two activate. Banana Cannon Burnout, he's gonna have to take this pressure. Uh, he messed up? Okay, Banana Cannon does have level one. He does have level one. Can he get shipped out? Nice trap. Tricky spacing from Najee. Oh, the meaty fireball connects. Najee's one interaction away from taking the game and making it 1-1 in the set. Jump back level two, just to reset the situation. Yep, jump away. Najee's pairing appropriately here. He avoided any dry meter damage and avoided disaster from getting hit. Big jump, 1-1. One, one. Oh, he'll take that because now he can avoid burnout. Does Banana can. Burnout is what he had to avoid. Perfect pairing the projectile, which let him get the punish there. Teleport out. 
Wow, Najee just walked away from the potential tick throw to back throw attempts. Banana Kent's on the back foot here. Najee is on point. Najee is on point right now. Wow, Najee in the lead in the sets. As I mentioned it, you don't want to do the crouch fierce too often because the dive kick will, sh will show up in that instance. Jab, jab, level one. The mini game after the amnesia, after you 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 know you jab into it, he takes the, his turn back. This is this is a beatdown. Najee is rushing Bananakin down. Nice interruption. Stand medium kick. Oh, he dropped it. Okay, but he's still in burnout. He went for the reset again. And he's doing strings into projectiles to keep it safe from level one. Using the, uh, oh my god. He defended against all the high lows there, but he sneaks it in. Is he going to drop? This is a tough combo. Keeps it simple. There we go. And that's Jury's advantage in the matchup right there. Can drive rush in situations through JP's projectiles that other characters don't really have access to. But he finds the teleports to side swap. And he gets the juggle towards heavy kick. You're dead. You're dead. Level two? Or just level one? Oh my god, 69 every time. That was so much damage. Najee is going to try to, to milk the burnout for a little while before going for the DI. He gets a guaranteed DI. Okay, he's gonna go for guaranteed DI now. No, he doesn't keep it tight. Oh, he didn't keep it tight. He could have ended it there with a stand heavy punch into DI, which would have been guaranteed. He had no option to avoid that. But instead, Najee leaves Bananakin alive and cooking. Oh, the minigame on Amnesia goes Banana Ken's way. Nice, perfect parry. But wait a minute, what's he gonna do? Level two? Oh, you were trying to move away. He's gonna check the drive rush. He, he okay, so after the Sand Fierce, you hold parry to uh, parry the projectile and you might drive rush in. Banana Ken preemptively tried to check the drive rush. It didn't come. Meaty mid-screen safe jump means that Banana Ken doesn't get a guaranteed punish on the perfect parry. With the throw, Najee takes advantage to the corner. Stagger throw. Projectile attempt. Air to air. We saw him represent exactly this setup to close out against Psycho in the top 16. Air to air again. Banana Ken, you're jumping too, too much. Oh, this stagger pressure is working so well right now. Banana Ken just burns the level two just to escape. No, that projectile was ill-advised. Low this time. He's gone high every time, and Najee's blocking that reset every time. Air to air with the medium kick, but it trades, so Banana Ken doesn't get the pickup. Stagger throw. He's going to have to hold this. Oh, my God. She was she disjointed the fireballs. Big jump in. He read the spike. Oh my god, Najee. Najee is, is starting to be offensive with the jumps and they're all working. That's gotta be nerve wracking for Bananakin right now. Delay, jump back. He wanted to dry rush forward there to get a combo and he'd miss it. Air throw to interrupt that shenanigan. Bananakin burns himself out just to stay alive. Wait, look at the dry beater situation. There it is, he baited it. Bananakin sat there and waited because he knew that Najee was going to for sure go for the dive kick in that situation. <gasps> He's gonna get level two? No, okay, he just converts without meter. Level two now. Okay, whoa, stare down. Wow, he gets the tick throw with the spike on the screen. Working miracles here. Air to air, pick up. Oh, it was too far away to get a dry rush pickup. He could have combo spike. Dry rush medium, working miracles again. Spike, don't move. EX command grab would have killed. Najee reversals out. He's gonna force force burnout. Oh no, he, he This is so close. Okay, Banana Can is avoiding burnout. You can't survive. What a time to DI. He could have EXDP through or parried, but he cannot cancel the DI in return. His life was too low to absorb it. Match point. Jumps out again. Gets the corner. He does it too early. Najee's delaying his drive rush attempt, so Bananakin doesn't know when to check the drive rush. Same thing in return. Wait, is he going to get the burnout? Reset. You're dead. You're dead. 
Oh my god, he steals it with the check into the level two, and Najee keeps eating the resets. Stolen. That was crazy. Najee was playing amazing, though. Banana can. I think he recognized a few situations where Najee was trying to challenge or, or trying to deal with JP shenanigans in ways that are risky. All right, loser semis. Winner of this will go on to play Najee in the loser's final. So if either one of these players wants to take the tournament, it's the marathon from here on out. They have to play every match in a row, four sets to take the whole thing. Paladin, the 16-year-old Ryu prodigy who just eliminated Punk with a 3-0 finish versus Knuckle Dew, who was once that young prodigy representing NA at the highest levels in Street Fighter 4, 5, and now 6. Guile versus Ryu, what's more American than that? Nice fireball space in there from Paladin, but... It, it, that EX spend puts him in a dangerous position and do recognizes that. That's why he's chipping away with these normals. Flash kick. So the lack of dry meter also forces people to jump. You know, it functions similar to chip and, and like Street Fighter 4 and other games, but people start making rash decisions like that. Okay. Paladin knew it was time to, to get a little funky with it. Dude is picking his spot so effectively right now. Big jump in from Paladin though. Reads the boom. Fully charged level two to the corner. Yo, I love that choice of combo. Look at that. It's huge damage, but also corner carry. But look at do hit confirming immediately level three. He said, okay, that was cute. That was cute, but get back. You're done. EX boom to take advantage of the zoning battle. Neutral jump. Do goes for towards fierce and it just whiffs. Okay, Paladin neutral jumps to reset the fireball battle. Look at the driver rush in behind his fireball. Look at all that screen space he carried. Oh, but nice flash kick. But can Paladin keep holding the side of the screen? Big whiff punish. Okay, dude's in a good spot now. Paladin was working on something, but that whiff punish reset the momentum entirely. It is done. It is done. Do has the most optimal combos. 1-0 to Knuckle Do. Oh, yeah, it wasn't a whiff punish, actually. He was just trying to walk away. Near burnout, so Paladin is like, screw it, I'm jumping, I'm going in. Hash, uh, fireball enhancement denied. Yeah, I denied the, the power up each time. The EX booms are too quick. Oh my god, this just seems, this seems rough. Dry meter damage, look at this. Do is a little bit on the back foot here, trying to make a move. Okay, he finds a, a boom to start chucking his own. And now he's healthy in the dry meter department. Look, oh my god, if Paladin had whiff punished that sand fierce, that would have been huge, but boom, oh, whoa! Do burns himself out with the EX boom. It whiffed! Oh, but he finds the hit! Oh, a little bit too aggressive there. Excellent neutral jump. What a read on the fireball. Wow. That is dead. That is death. Whiff punish. Look at the button placement. Perfect parry to jump. It goes through the sonic blade. Finds the buffer. Time for Paladin. Not scared of the EX reversal. Goes for the throw midstream. Perfect parry. Paladin's parry timing is absurd. So on point with the boom timing, which I, I personally find perfect parrying sonic booms extremely difficult in this game. It's one of the hardest projectiles for me to parry. Oh, big shimmy. You're, you're dead. Optimal. Meterless. Oh, sheesh. Dew is on a mission. The biggest opponent Dew had, of course, Bananakin is up there, the one who put him in losers, but Punk was obviously the biggest roadblock besides that for Dew. And I think at this point... He is fired up. Paladin did a lot of the heavy lifting for him and eliminating Punk. And I think Dew is having his sights on that Capcom Cup qualification spot. Paladin's going to have to dig deep here to make another miracle happen for him. He's in a bad spot. Back to the wall. Dry meter down to his last pixel. Less than a throw away. The perfect connects. The boom connects. Perfect for Knuckle Dew. 3-0 oh, over Paladin. Listen, that was a rough, rough L right there. Happens to the best of us against Lord Knuckle Dew. But Paladin, you had an amazing run. Put Idom in losers. Eliminated Punk. Inspired the world with your high-level Ryu play. At only 16 years old, you got a long bright future ahead of you if you keep it up so good stuff paladin losers finals knuckle do versus naji do is on a mission to tear through this losers bracket to get his run back versus bananakin in the grand finals 
Drive Rush. Najee tries a perfect parry in response. Do throws. Yep. Najee will represent that dive kick to mess up your entire attempts. Drive Reversal whiffs. No, not ready. Not ready. Dude's ready. Dude's ready, of course. He stays ready. Tick throw. Good pressure. Oh, the Street Fighter 5 and Beyond Classic. You try to throw tech the throw and you do, do it a little late and they whiff their throw and they get half-life punish instead. Always feels good. Those situations are always like aggravating for fighting game players. Some people do purposely do drive rush throw to stop their momentum and bait early throw attacks. That is a thing to do. Uh, I don't think Najee just accidentally whipped his throw there. I don't know if Dew purposely did that or not. I didn't quite see. But Najee's working on the comeback. Nice jump out. Dew is one of the best players in the business of picking the times to jump out. Flash kick shuts down both regular jump and dive kick. But perfect parry to the check. He needed that perfect parry to be able to check behind the, the dry rush. So Najee maintains the corner control. Drive meter situation look a little, little low there for Dew. Listen, Dew, he plays on pad and his trigger finger. It's just, it's right there, man. He is ready. I don't know if I've ever seen Dew fail to DI a DI that he should have DI'd. You understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Allows him to get some uh, corner carry. Big whiff! Oh my god, that was just tacked on, adding insult to injury there. The whiff punish, crouch, immediate kick, punish counter into the flash kick. But wait, okay, he finds the, the punish. He didn't buffer to level 3, though. I almost wonder if it was time to level 3. Here's Najee. Okay. Oh, stagger pressure. Dude was trying to press a button to prevent forward movement, and Najee sniped it out. Doesn't fall for the backdash shimmy, but one, this is it, yeah. Into burnout you go. Into burnout you go, this is over. Unless, no, it's over. 2-0 for Knuckle Doo. he is marching forward, has not dropped a game since losing to Banana Kid on the winner's side. Air throw, mean. That just hurts your feelings. Wow, sock to the face on the whiff stand MK, I believe that button is from Jury. Dude's in the zone. He says, give me the banana. Give me that damn banana. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Najee fighting back. I told you. There's never a DI that dude did not DI that he needed to do. Do you understand? I told you. Dude is so conniving and is, I told you. He'll pay the tax, he'll pay the tax. Crosscut tax, no biggie. Oh, yes, he'll gladly take that trade. Oh, double perfect parry. Allows Najee to gain some ground, but we're back to the nuge. Air throw, denied. Is that gonna work? Okay, okay, one guess away. And it lands, stagger jab pressure. Keeps it tight, keeps it light. Do working on another perfect here. Not just gonna have to make a miracle comeback. Oh, right over with the Sobot punish, counter dry rush conversion. Najee, you are on the back foot. These perfect parries are great, but it only if it leads into some offense. Here we go. First interaction that goes Najee's way. And he tried to go negative frames into perfect parry. Do is so aware of those shenanigans where people do spaced out buttons that are negative and then try to tap perfect parry. Do is so good at mixing in walk forward throw in those situations to punish with a punish counter throw on the whiff parry attempt. Do 3 0 over Naji. He wants the banana. And so do I. I'm, I'm hungry. I swallowed a whole giant spoon of peanut butter and then ran up here and, and had a banana. Didn't really have time to get a snack. I would love either one of these players to take it. Dude's been my boy for quite some time. I think he's a great human being, a father, a husband, Capcom Cup champion, puts in the work day in, day out, and has been representing uh, the United States at the highest level of Street Fighter for over a decade at this point. But Banana Ken, you know, he's my JP GOAT, definitely my favorite JP player to watch. Top level Persona 4 and Blaz Blue competitor, one of the GOATs of anime games. Been competing since Street Fighter 4 when he used to rock his Banana Ken. Brought his talents back to Street Fighter 6 and would be, you know, part of the JP army. A, one, probably my favorite JP player to go far at Capcom Cup if you were to get in. Either way, I'd be happy 
Sad for whoever loses, happy for whoever wins. Dew was so close to taking the World Warrior Regional Finals. It was last round, last interaction with him versus Mena. It was the final game, reset bracket, as down to the wire as you could possibly make it. So he's been working hard to get back to this position to win again. So it would be poetic for Dew to take it. It would be uh, for my biases for JP. I would love to see uh, Banana Can take it, but either way, I think it's going to be ridiculous. Yes, there are three. There's three JPs in Capcom Cup, and there's also three Giles in Capcom Cup. So they're tied right now for representation. They're both tied with Dulcim. So Dulcim, JP, and Guile are equally tied. So, uh-oh, we might be adding a Kami to the list. He goes with the Kami. And that's part of the reason why. Oh, <laughs> explosive start. So Spin Knuckle is definitely an option to help get around JP zoning. Bandican already down in drive meter, but finds a side swap. Do has won tournament sets over Bandican with both Guile and JP in the past. I've seen both occur. Um, but Bandican has also won uh, sets over Do's characters. So no guarantee either character is a better choice. I think on paper, the better matchup is Cammy though, for sure. Air to airs. Look at the defense. He's going to block this. Amnesia, sand medium. Oh, it, it, the I think he could have just blocked. The amnesia makes that a little weird. Nice T.I. Really, really good. Use the jab string to go into the level two to avoid the D.I. there. Drive rush conversion towards heavy kick. Yes, sir. Oh, drive. Reversal bait. Bananakin is turning it up. That is a reset. He doesn't parry, but he still gets hit. ODTP, that would have been almost 1-0 to Bananakin right away if that command grab had landed. A little too far away to get the short to jab. What's Zuga to do here? Bananakin burns himself out again. This time he has no super meter. That was meaty. Oh, good jump away. Good air to air. Imi Whoa, my God, look at his answers. Dew is being slowed down. Finds a dive kick in when Bananakin tries to uh, get the OD portal to control the neutral. Perfect parry attempt, gets punish counter thrown. Okay, one interaction away. Amnesia's on the table. And the balls for Dude to go for the throw once more. OD Amnesia on that throw would have absolutely 125% have killed. So there's some Bare representation there. Another throw. Another throw. Another throw. Dude is not afraid. He's not afraid. He's dead. That's how you have to play. That's how you have to do it. You cannot be afraid. Any one of those throws could have been an amnesia into a level three combo. Any single one of them or a side swap. But you have to force the JP player to make those decisions because those reversals can get baited. Forcing a lot of drive meter damage. That's not going to be a punish. Oh, he dash up spike. I can't. I don't know what he's trying to do there. Oh, but he gets the jump back light kick level two conversion. This is death. Wow. Whiff punish. Early drum early drive rush medium whiffs. That, that would have been really hard to punish. Full punish right there. Into the double DI for the drive meter damage. And he's gonna go into burn burn the level three, right? Level one. Oh, he's not in burnout. Is he got amnesia? Yes, he did regular amnesia though. He's still not in burnout. Random sweep just to just fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a round. Walk up, throw, look at Dew. Playing ballsy now. Punish counter, side swap with the, the EX drill. Definitely one of the strengths of Kami is he can, she can side swap on command. That's that's death. Dew is fine, he's rhythm. We have a set. Gets clipped low. Oh, he recognizes spacing. Side swap. Amnesia? What's the mini game? He blocks. But Banana Cannon will take that on the side swap. I don't really understand the drive meter usage right there. He went way too ham. Maybe he thought he would build a level two to force a mix, but it didn't come. But Banana Cannon's been in this position. Early jump jab, the adaptation. What a conversion. Oh, look at Dude baiting the air to airs, baiting the DIs. So he's just doing that. That's not the highest damage punish, but he's just doing that for the drive meter punish. He's going to force... Oh, what a bait. He didn't get a punish? Well, well, 
he did stand jab. Stand jab is too slow. Crouch jab with a punish. Stand jab is six frames. He needed to do a four frame punish on the drive reversal because he got put in the burnout. Overhead fireball, low fireball, it hits. It's a high low. It's, it's, oh, two, two. It's do or die for do. Banana can, if he wins this, he's going to Capcom Cup. If do wins it, we get a reset, and we get more action. Early drive rush, medium, perfect parry on the continued pressure. Meaty. Meaty again. Oh, he jabbed after? Disrespected the plus frames. Nice air to air cross up that beats both angles. Punish counter dive kick on the drive rush. Perfect parry. <gasps> it begins. Oh my god, what an early dive kick and what a DP to bait the air to air. And what an early jump light kick. Look at the air to air options. Oh my god, he's gonna force level two. Oh, it wasn't a block string. He was able to parry it out. He missed Amnesia, I guarantee you. He was buffering Amnesia. Dew is like a confirm and a half away from taking this. Bananakin jumps out. Back into the corner you go though, it says Dew. OD portal. Level three can punish projectiles from full screen. Extremely fast super, so Bananakin is being a little bit more apprehensive about throwing things out. The teleport, denied, take throw, denied. Dew walks back, jumps forward. Oh my God, look at the spacing, the big shimmy. We have a reset. We have a reset. Do has fucking ice in his veins. This man is on a mission. This man is on a mission. I wanted a reset. Listen, I, I would be happy for either player to win, but I'm happy to have more games too. Corner positioning, plus frames on that. Very uh, DI-able, the heavy swipe, but if they don't DI it, you get plus frames. Corner throw situation, do not afraid. Do not afraid. Any one of these could be amnesia to side swapped. Any one of these could cost amnesia. Oh my god, he baits it when Ben Anakin finally goes for it. Do is in his head. Okay, uses the, the gap to. Oh, he wanted to use that level two rather to build some space. Air to air, jump light kick will beat either side they come out on with the uh the portal. So any any kind of cross up. Uh, jump button can be used air to air to stop exactly that. So that's that's universal tech. A lot of characters can do that. Jump light kick into the portal when they teleport through. Do checks two of the teleports successfully to keep the corner control. One punish kind of throw away. This time Amnesia connects. Oh, sneaky teleport that time. Really delayed it to get the cross up. Air to air pickup. Oh. Okay, he's gonna do level two. Level two. Okay, well, he meant to do level two. It didn't come out. I, he definitely didn't mean to do. Port oh, that was huge. He meant to do target combo into level two. He missed executed. Oh, he was ready. He was ready. Side swap, jab. Oh, he just do it all. Banana can. Banana can. That was supposed to be jab to medium swipe into a dash side swap combo, but he he's he messed up. I feel like mistakes are happening now. I don't know. Are these nerves? That was two kind of crucial drops in a row from Bananakin. Nice tag. Good defense. Nice defense. Nice defense from Bananakin. <gasps> he survives. He, he can force a level two mix. Okay, but this is not great either. Oh, punish counter, he won. Oh my God, he wanted the grounded punish counter conversion, but he hit it a little bit too soon and, and hit you out of the air, which caused a scramble situation. There, that's what he wanted last time, exactly like that. The punish counter on the ground to a combo. Nice check with the, with the spike behind him. You get the pickup. What's Stu gonna do here? He's on the back foot for this round. Bananakan hasn't won a round yet in the reset, has he? Jab check. Stagger jab pressure. This is a little ambitious, dude. He's buffering amnesia behind these strings, guys. Okay, he doesn't get it there, but behind these buttons, what he's pressuring with? Nice throw. Throw to deny the DI. Meaty overhead. That is still negative on block, but he would have got a combo from that. Dude blocks it and uh, takes his turn back. Oh my god, what, a, what an air to air. Do has level three. He finds one big hit to level three. Empty jump DP. Right. Now, can't get away with easy stuff. 
he's dead. He just jumps at him. He's dead, right? He's dead. I think Dew is just showing his clutch right now. Banana Can's playing good, but it's just like the moments where he needs to clutch up, he's not quite finding the hits like he needs to, and Dew is finding them every time. Look at this movement around the buttons to get the throw. Big amnesia bait. His pace is too much right now. Oh my god, this is a perfect. I think Banana Can is cracking. This is a perfect. This is a perfect. This is, a, is this going to be a speedrun final game? Do one round away from going to Capcom Cup. He's trying to crank that drive meter pressure. Do parry successfully to build his drive meter back. Good space in the dive kick, plus frames in the toes. Yes, he gets the throw. Anti-air, teleport. Doesn't doesn't convert it. He didn't really believe in that hit. Punish counter dive kick on the drive rush button. You are low in dry meter, and I love that response of wake up heavy kick to bait out the shimmy. Drive reversal is successful though to give Dew the corner. Are you gonna amnesia or are you gonna die? He meant to level two? He dropped! He dropped again! And the level two connects, but Banana Can doesn't kill him! Banana Can had the hit on the level two. All he needed to do was do a drive rush conversion to kill. He had the drive meter he would have killed. And then he even gets into the hit and he panics and does EX fireball point blank and dude throws him through it. Dude goes to Capcom Cup. He was so close in the World Warrior Regional Finals. I'm telling you, one interaction away from taking over Mena RD. He's come so close, was put into losers by Banana Can and the winner's side top eight. Fights his way back through losers. Nine games straight, not a single L taken on the way back to the Banana Man. And then was down to the final game in the first set between these two, and then 3-0 swept. I think Banana Ken just, he played amazing, but Do just has ice in his veins. He clutched it over, clutched it over Banana Ken, and the nerves, it was showing, especially in that last interaction, that was Banana Ken's round to keep the tournament run alive. And he, he dropped the ball in the last moment, and Do picked it up, and slam dunk and guys thank you so much for watching that was an amazing tournament huge congratulations to do and uh for being the best player and one of the best guys and uh that's it for me guys hey what's up paladin good shit this weekend as well there's paladin the man himself really well played thanks for uh, entertaining us good stuff all right guys i'm out thanks for everything and i'll catch you guys next time peace